Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, we are still on the Senzo Meiwa Meda trial, a trial within a trial. Family, on this video, I want us to look into something that amazes me. Bongalim Tanzi was taken to the doctor at a hospital in Rustenburg where he was checked if he ever had a gold tooth. Then the form or the report that was completed by the doctor indicates that Bonganim Tanzi said he has a heart problem. Uh, after some time, Bonganim Tanzi is taken to a magistrate Gronier for a confession. He's being interviewed there. The form that comes from magistrate Gronier also indicates that Bonganin Tanzi said to her, he has a heart problem. Family, we're talking about two different people here. Uh, two professional people. A, a, a medical doctor and a magistrate, whom I believe they do not know each other. And both people are saying the same thing. Yes, I agree that if Bonganin Tanzi definitely had a heart problem, there was no way at the mines he would be allowed to go underground. Maybe he would work in the offices, you know, anywhere on the surface, but not underground. So, but um, these two people are saying, as they were interviewing Bonganin Tanzi, uh, Bonganin Tanzi indicated that he has a heart problem. I don't know what the reason, what, what was the reason for him to say that. But today we see Bonganin Tanzi in court denying that he ever said that uh, to those two people. Family, maybe let's listen to these clips first. The first clip is the one from the doctor. Um, uh, Ramos Sepeli is presenting that as he was questioning Bonganin Tanzi. And then from there, the next clip will be that one from the magistrate as Ramos Sepeli continues to uh, question Tanzi. So let's listen, family. <laughs> Kona yino wangchela utokotela ukuthi wage wane kula wage wakula kona ukatazwa inkiziyo. Aye, kose kantolo tangi kwale ngalese skati fundi wala pambo wakon kose kantolo. The first time I heard about it, my lord, it's when it was read right in, uh, here in court, my lord. Kose kantolo nama ngalandi wu exit ya ya se rastin beke impala mai ngeni exit ya kona ngo ngo mashima ngaposis kuzek fili koron. Uh, my lord, even if Utini exit. Okay. There's something that is referred to as the exit uh, after six months of having entered there, my lord, that is being used or taken. So even if it was to be fetched when I started working at Impala Mines, my lord. Yebo, no ming alandwa. No ming aland is well and oh gunya kosengantolo. And my lord, the second thing is, I'll never be able to work in a mine when I have a heart condition. So, no. what were you saying about even if an a, what a, an exhibit a exit can be first, you didn't finish that. What's going to happen? exit uh, exit that's, that's why it indicates, my Lord, as to whether I'm fit or not, am I uh, sick or how healthy I am to be able to work underground in the mine. Okay. Now, on that aspect, uh, amongst the conditions that will allow you or disallow you not to work underground, do you, do you know what those are? <laughs> Yes. What are those? 
It's when you've got a hearing problem. A uh, Sight, which is your eyes. A TB. Uh, TB. HIV. HIV. As well as when you have a heart condition, you won't be able to enter underground. Now, like I said, we, we won't burden the record. The rest of the questionnaire, mo most of the answers are no, no, so we, we wouldn't go to that. Let's go now to what under the questionnaire it says, further details, and it says, patient report to have been admitted for a heart condition in 2014, following a mining accident, do you see that? Lana go pali we go go ti wasi ya kaza ge go ti wage wa la la ge espejele ula le la ge entry zio mo 2014 go ba ge wa di mala a mine. Kose kanto lo mi apinda we lo nga kasho mi lagatun shawe chelo mkoti. Uh, I repeat this, my lord, ever since I got employed there, I've never been hit by a stone uh, in the mine. 2009 until 2020 mbo shio. From 2009 until my arrest in 2020, I've never been uh, hit or struck by a, uh, a, a rock, my lord, uh, from the mine. And it has never happened that uh, the mine or the uh, uh, fell whilst I was still uh, inside, my lord. Family, that was the report by the doctor. And then the next clip, it's re uh, the report by... Um, Magistrate Kronye as Attorney Ramosepili is uh, questioning Bongan in Danzi. Let's listen. And now we go to, sorry, there's another notation above that which it's not really legible to me. I'll try to decipher it. It says, I don't want to report any medical conditions or injuries except uh, I haven't taken a bath since 1606, 2020. Do you see that? There's another uh, from, uh, Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, medical conditions or injuries except a heart condition, and I haven't taken a bath since 16 July, I mean 16 June, 2020. Lana Kubeka Kupala Uguti Ayiko Enye Indo Eufuna Uguyi reporter Go Gukula Noma Ngo Ngo Gulimala Ngapandra Goguti Wagati Uning Kinga Yen Tizio Futi Wena Augaze Ujeze Usuge Lange sixteen Ziga June twenty twenty. Is that record all correct? Let's let's unpack it. Uh, it's quite a mouthful. Did you tell the magistrate that you don't want to report any injuries or medical conditions? I guess it's quite clear. Lenda bale uye wamjela umanju guti wena aye ko indo ofuna ogumjela yona ngogu kula no mangogu ngempilo yako. Agazang bosa kosen kantera na lom bosa. I was not asked such a question. But did you provide the answer that is recorded here? Goto impendo lo le epaluela uye wamniga yo. I dispute this answer. Did you also tell the magistrate that you had a heart problem? But the question is, did you tell the magistrate that you had a heart problem? I, did, I do not know where the magistrate took this from, as I have never said anything regarding ill health to the magistrate. Did you tell the magistrate that you haven't taken a bath since the 16th of June 2020? I did tell the magistrate that I did not take a bath and I also asked to make a call. Emily Bongani Ndanzi says he never told the doctor nor uh, uh, the magistrate that he has a heart problem. But what surprises me is that both of them from different offices, they know that Bongani Ndanzi has a heart 
problem. Now that Bonganindanzi was there in court when both officials presented that, Bonganindanzi said he has a heart problem and he kept quiet. He did not raise up his hand to say to his lawyer, please tell these people they are lying. I never told them that I had a heart problem. I, the first person who came was Magistrate Kuronye. As he was taken through uh, the performer in, in her evidence in chief, he was interrogated by um, Advocate Mgome Zulu. Bongani Tanzi said nothing. He never stopped Advocate Mgome Zulu to say, my advocate, wait, tell this person he, she is lying. A few days ago, it was the doctor. Dr. Tlokwe came. He presented his report. He was interrogated. And Bonganintanz was just quiet. He said nothing about that. To say, doctor, you are lying. I never told you that I have a heart problem. Family, I'm afraid today... Uh, Advocate Sibanda is not going to leave a, a, a Bonganin Tanzi. He'll definitely be on his case. When he comes to interrogate him, he is going to ask him the same thing. Or why were you quiet on those days when the two officials presented their reports? You never said a word. You never denied it. So today you're saying... When you never told them that you have that problem. I think that's that was what scares me, family. I'm scared because I know that Sibanda is not going to leave him. Sibanda is going to attack him on that. He'd rather be ready to give answers. Anyway, thank you, family, for watching this video to the end. Please like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family. Thank you. Bye.